you are having trouble with the Unit 3 Lesson 7 Electromagnetic Induction Lab. So I wanted to, to screen share this with you so that you all can have the experience of this lab even if you can't load it. Um, it's a Java problem and many computers are having trouble with that. Um, first of all, you'll need the lab sheet that's in the teacher notes that looks like this. Okay, Faraday's Electromagnetic Induction Lab. You may also do the one in Conexus if you would like to, but I provided this just in case you wanted something to guide you a little bit more. So you start out with some predictions, okay? So these are kind of like your hypotheses. What do you think are going to happen based on the magnetism information that you've already learned? Okay, so you're gonna answer questions one, two, and three, and then it tells you to go to the Faraday's Electromagnetic Lab and investigate the simulation, use the simulation to answer the following questions. So the first thing you're going to do is draw the shape of the magnetic field around a bar magnet. And so here is our bar magnet, and we can move this magnet around like this. And notice that when I move this, these little compass needles turn. And so just take a look at that screen. And you can also use this large compass and see what happens as we move this large compass around. Okay, so go ahead and answer that first question and draw that. Okay, question two asks you why does or what makes a compass needle point north? Let's look at, okay. um, let's so look at questions why three does a compass needle and point four. The first one says make a list of ways to make the light bulb light. And so on this one, we're using the pickup coil. Okay. And so what are some ways I can get this light bulb to light up? I can move this magnet around. What has to be happening in order to get this light bulb to light up? And what are some ways that I can make the light bulb brighter? That's question four. The length of the lines indicate the brightness. So that was with three loops. Let's try two. Now I'm going to make the loop size smaller. And now I'm going to move the magnet more quickly. Now I'm going to move the coil first slowly and then more quickly. Lesson, uh, uh, question five says investigate tabs three and four, the electromagnet and the transformer, and make a Venn diagram to show the similarities and differences between a bar magnet and an electromagnet. So here we're going to look at three. This is an electromagnet. This coil is called a solenoid, and we've got a battery attached to it, which is creating a current. Now, when we have a moving current, we have a created magnetic field. You can see that with the way these compass lines are moving. Okay, so what's similar about this electromagnet? and this bar magnet. Okay, now let's take a look at number six. It says, how does using AC current in an electromagnet affect the compass? This is currently DC. We can switch it to AC, and now we can see the AC Notice what's happening to the compass. AC, remember, stands for alternating current. Number seven asks you to describe what induction means and the step-by-step -step instructions to make that happen. And this is what you're witnessing here. This is electromagnetic induction. Number eight asks you to design an experiment to investigate how a variable of your choosing 
will affect the amount of induction. So I'm just going to show you a few of these things, and we've looked at some of them already. What are some variables that you could test using this particular method? And of course you can't really test it if you can't load it, but you can look at what's happening here. I could test speed at which the magnet is moving. I can test the speed at which this is moving, if the coil is moving. I can test the loop area. How does that affect it? And some of this is a little bit hard to see. I can test the strength of the magnet. If I make the magnet less strong, what happens to my power generation? A stronger magnet. Okay. So choose one of these variables and describe, instead of really creating a, an experiment, describe how that variable impacts um, the induced electrical current. And then you can write a short procedure on how you could uh, test this. Okay, now we're going to look at the generator for question 9. This is a generator. We can turn on some water. Notice that the water is causing the wheel to turn, which creates a changing magnetic field, which then induces a current in the coil, causing the light to light up. All right, this is what you're going to describe in number 9. And that's it for this lab. It's really just a description of what you see here with regard to electromagnetic induction. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions or need to come into my live lesson room, I can screen share this lab with you and answer your questions better that way individually. Thank you so much. Bye.